Hey everyone, my name is Drew, and we are here. This is going to be week number five of the ICBA, and we are going up against Sharpedo43 and his Somar Sylveons. This is going to be a really interesting match. He has a very, very interesting team, and uh, I'm still getting a feel for my team. We have won a couple games now at, the, at least, but um, I'm not quite sure. Okay, so here we see the Hippowdon, Delphox, and Magirna. This is also my first time ever playing against Magirna. Um, Raichu. Hydreigon and Megalopony. Okay, so let me see here. This is really interesting. So what did not what didn't he bring? No Raquinid. No Decidueye. No Decidueye is huge. No Braviary, which is kind of interesting. I thought Braviary had a decent chance against my team. No Mesprit, which is also huge. No Vaporeon, which is uh, decently huge. It's it's an it's an okay amount of huge. But um yeah, this is a very interesting team to go up against. Um, Scarfed Earthquake from my Flygon is going to be very, very free in this match. Um, honestly, part of me just wants to lead off with my Type Null. Try to get a feel for whatever's happening. Get a... Oh no, he's probably going to lead off with his... With his Hippowdon, if I had to guess. I think Greninja is the optimal lead here. I can always U-turn out on whatever he has. I think, at the end of the day, that's going to be my play. Um, Greninja has a really decent time here. It can hit most of his team for super effective damage. It outspeeds most of his team. If I had to guess, the, um, well, the Delphox or the Hydreigon are the most likely to be Scarfed. So I guess we just have to see how well that works out. Um, Megalopony is going to be a threat no matter what, but I do have a max defense Celebi. With Recover, with Stealth Rocks, with U-Turn, um, hopefully that's going to be a decent enough counter to that, but, man, who knows, who knows. I would be surprised if he didn't lead with the hip out on, I don't know. Maybe he just holds his ground, goes for Stealth Rocks, but, um, maybe that would mean I just go for U-Turn. I'm still amazed by No Decidueye, goes with the Delphox lead, as I lead off with this... Greninja. It could be Scarfed, but if it is Scarfed, I should resist. If it's Scarfed, I resist both of its stabs. I'm immune to one. I resist the other. Um, part of me just says that Surf is really free here. It can go for Grass Knot, but I don't think Grass Knot's going to be the wave right now. It can go for Scar Focus Blast, I guess. Yeah, I honestly just kind of... Okay, so let me think. What, what was he trying to counter lead here? Maybe... Oh, the Celebi. The Celebi does make sense for a, a Stealth Rocks lead. Or the uh, Steelix for a Stealth Rocks lead. Either my um, Rockers, Delphox is a very good counter to. That does make quite a bit of sense. But again, I just feel like Surf is free. I do go for the Surf. Um, Yeah, I guess we just see what we do here. I'm going to try to gauge based off of this damage. We do... That's a straight Oko. Wow. Turn one, we get a KO. That is super interesting. I don't quite know what he ex what Sharpedo expected there, but... Uh, turn one, Greninja gets a KO. I guess that's just how it goes. He probably didn't expect me to be Life Orb. I, I'm willing to bet that he... Um... That he knew he'd be able to take a hit without the life orb. Maybe that threw him off here. Let's see. Yeah, Surf is 116%. If I take off the life orb, then yeah, he has a chance of taking it. But even then, that's max speed. I don't know. Regardless, no Delphox is pretty darn huge. It gives pretty darn free reign to my to my okay this thing has to be scarfed this thing definitely has to be scarfed so what does that mean for oh i never took a screenshot all right i'm gonna try to take a screenshot at least of the team on the bottom screen because that is pretty helpful and i'm just gonna have to remember my team hopefully but yeah i can see our both of our teams okay this should be okay for now um, what's my best switch into this thing? Probably, yeah, just the, just the, just the, um, uh, type null here is 
just the best overall switch. He just goes for the Dark Poles. Now, I can go for the really, really free Thunder Wave here, and I can also go just go for the U-Turn, expecting him to have to switch out here. I feel like U-Turn would be the best play, just now that he sees how little damage that did. I'm gonna click U-Turn. I have to click U-Turn. Also, do I even have, like, a like a dedicated Scarf? Oh, yeah, no. Um, that's right. Um, what's it called is my Scarfer? Um, Flygon. So, this thing comes in. So, if I did... Wow, that did quite a bit of damage. If I did go for the um, Thunder Wave, it would have been pretty darn unfortunate. Maybe he expected it. He could have definitely expected it. Um, but... Part of me just wants to go into... Part of me just wants to go into my Flygon. And I want him to... I, I want to scream Scarf, because obviously I am Scarf. And I can just click U-turn. Actually... If I can judge based on that damage, I think that I think this is probably a no bulk Raichu. Is that crazy for me to think? Let me see. I feel like I'm a bit loud, but I ha I'm playing the TI album. I'm j that's what I'm listening to right now, and uh, it kind of smacks right now, and it's pretty loud in my ears, and I and I kind of like it. Um. Uh, yeah, U turn doing that much means no bulk Raichu. Now, does that mean that Flygon U turn can? No, Flygon U turn does miss out on the KO, but regardless. His only real switch into Flygon would either be... Well, he could switch into the Hippowdon, to be fair. He could also switch into the Magirna, but regardless, I think just going into this thing and clicking U-Turn would be the best play. I feel like he goes into Hydreigon. I feel like we can bait out the Hydreigon on this play right now. I feel like we can bait in the Hydreigon right now. I have no other play but to click U-Turn. I could have clicked Dragon Claw, but no. Then he has the, um... Yeah, this is probably the Magirna. No, this is the Powdon. Interesting. But this would freely allow my... Um... My... My, um, Greninja back in. This would freely allow my... Let me see. Um, just straight max HP hip out on is 13 to 16%. That looks about right, okay. Now what am I looking at with a Greninja coming in? Life Orb Greninja should threaten a KO here. Hmm. This is going to be an interesting play. Because I could go for Surf, I could go for Ice Beam. Um, both do the same amount of damage because of Protein. But one would cover the Hydreigon switch in, one would cover the Magirna switch in. I feel like the play would have to be to Ice Beam here. I'm just going to click Ice Beam. I feel like it's a 50-50 that I have to make, although... If I let the Magirna in for free, mm, might not have been a great play. Regardless, I feel like I have the Type Null switch in. I can get off a Thunder Wave if I have to. I think I'd be fine with that. I'd be totally, totally fine with that. Regardless, I just locked in Ice Beam right now. Oh. Okay, we are back, and I'm going to lock in Ice Beam again. Again, this is a 50-50. I don't quite know what he's going to want to switch into, but it is a Hydreigon, so he will get a big, big hit off on this Hydreigon. We did get this 50-50 correct. If he went into Magirna, we'd be in a little bit of trouble, but I guess we can just see. Also, that's another Oko. Oh my god, Ninja needs to calm down. Let me see. That's just another straight Oko. Yeah. Yeah, Noble Hydreigon, it always Okos. That is insane. Your ninja definitely needs to calm down. Okay. That is two huge threats out of the way. He's, he can freely go into the Mega Low Pony if he wants to, but that is the easiest Celebi switch in of my career. If he goes into the Magirna, then I'm in Quinn. Oh, bit of trouble. He does go into the Low Pony. Okay, okay. This is good. This is good. Because now, 
I can go into Celebi. And I can get rocks up, but... I might want a U-turn here. I'm not too, too sure just yet. This is a max defense Celebi. So I don't think he can do... I'm not too, too sure of what it can do to do um, as much damage as, as it needs to. Just go straight for a return. Yeah, okay. That's exactly what we need to do here. I really just want to get rocks up right now. But I could be inviting in something. I could be inviting in Raichu, Signal Beam Raichu. Um, Hippowdon's never the switch in. I could be inviting in Magirna as well. I do have the Earth Power for the Magirna. Theoretical. Oh, no, never mind. I don't have Stealth Rocks on this. I have Giga Drain, Earth Power, Recover, and U Turn. So, yeah, the play has to be the U Turn. If he attacks me, I get the slow U Turn off. If he, um, yeah, just goes into the Raichu, which is interesting. Uh, we'll get to wear it down just a little bit more. Good, good, good. And now he has nothing stopped. Well, he still has that pout on, to be fair. Part of me wants to go... Huh. What do I want to go into? I can go into Greninja. Unless I really think this thing is Scarfed. Do I think this thing is Scarfed? I don't. I really don't. The, the Hydreigon had to be Scarfed. I could go into Greninja and just Surf. Yeah, I'm just gonna click Surf. With that said, I am giving him a very free... Mm, maybe I should U-turn. Let's see, this is again a no-bulk Raichu. This is a no-bulk Raichu. Oh, U-turn still does enough damage. So don't be a Scarfed Raichu, and um, we can KO with U-Turn. The only reason I want to U-Turn uh, really badly right now is because he can very freely uh, go into Magirna if I just KO it with a Surf. Um, and Water Shuriken, it, it's, it might be in range where Water Shuriken uh, can do it with two hits. Let's see, Water Shuriken, two hits. Oh yeah, it, yeah, that should, it, it looks like a roll. Minimum 28% to a Noble Raichu. Regardless, U-Turn does a thing. I need to let Greninja do its thing right now. Greninja's picked up all three KOs so far. And all of its main threats are out of the way right now. Uh, what do I want to go into? What do I want to go into right now? So the best play would be to go into my, the best play would be to go into, the best play is either my Null or my Flygon. I really want Flygon because, yeah, Flygon's best because it discourages the, it discourages the Magirna's uh, coming in. It discourages the Magirna coming in, and that's really what I need right now, more than anything. Um, yeah, it, it, it clearly it, it invites in the Powdon, especially after the Sandstorm ends, but ultimately, I can live with that a lot more than I can live with, um... More than I can live with, uh... The Magirna coming in. So what I really want to do is I want to U-turn out into my null I think because that would allow me no no I well no I would switch into Celebi I would definitely switch just switch into Celebi I know he gets up his rocks it is what it is it, it just is what it is but Part of me wants to recover up. 
Oh no, please, please don't tell us we disconnected again. This is... Mm, my only goal for the rest of this match is going... Okay, we are back once again, and I'm again in a pretty rough spot here because I really want to Giga Drain into this thing, but there's no way he stays in. I feel like I have to U-turn here. I feel like I have to have to U-turn here. He stays in, which is really interesting. But I don't yet know what he would go for here. I kind of just want to go into... I'm going to go into my type null. And the worst thing that can happen is... Just goes for the Ice Fang. Yeah, he expected my... My, um... Flygon to come in. Oh, or he could have just been attacking my Celebi. That's fine. But regardless, I don't think he wanted to take a... I don't think you wanted to take a Giga Drain in that situation. I really want to click U-turn. I just want to get my my Pokemon into position, but this thing's always going to be able to attack. I'm going to click U-turn. I feel like he doesn't want to keep this thing in forever, and yeah. What does he have left? He has the Lopunny and the Magirna. Just goes for the EQ. I think that's fine. That should be fine. Even if the Steelix has to go down, it goes down. I really don't care at this point. I, pr I probably got taken out. This is a max special defense, um, uh, Steelix, so it's not even really that physically defensive. I'm gonna click Toxic. Again, the biggest concern is if he tries to switch into the Magirna, which I don't think he would do. Hopefully we can take this hit. We take it on 6, and we can get a Toxic off. So that's gonna help in the longer run, but regardless, if I do get taken out, I... It's fine. This is my most expendable member, and it does give me the freest of switches into my uh, Greninja, which is then in a position to very freely surf. I can very, very freely surf. Or I can test out the waters, go into my Infernate first, and try to Grass Knot this thing. That's another possibility. Uh, I will not be able to get Rocks up, but I don't think it really matters against me. Yeah, Rocks definitely don't even really matter against me, especially not this late in the game. Um, I'm going to click Stealth Rocks just to click it. He, he takes me out. It's totally, totally fine. It's totally, totally fine. Just goes for the Ice Fang to protect against the uh, potential Flygon, but it's really not worth it. Now, against this Hippowdon, I should be able to just go into my Infernape. Yeah, Infernape is 100% the best play. Because Greninja is more so my win con, but um, my Infernape can punch holes into his team better to set up my Greninja later, or my Flygon for that matter. So I will be able to freely Grass Knot. If he goes into the low punny, then I can Mock Punch for enough damage where my Greninja can probably re uh, revenge. And if he goes into Magirna, then I can Fire Punch it. And then um, hopefully... It doesn't shift gear in my face, in which case, hopefully, it's in range where I can, uh, do something from there, but if he is shift gear weakness policy, I might honestly just lose. I might honestly just lose. Does withdraw. Goes into this thing. We should take a fake out, correct? Low punny. All-out attacker, low punny. With fake out. Yeah, we t Infernape takes a fake out fine. 
And Mock Punch does... Actually, Mock Punch threatens a KO, actually, by the looks of it. it. It'd have to be a high roll, but it does threaten a KO by the looks of it. I guess we're just gonna have to see, but, um... This is an Iron Fist Max Attack Mock Punch. And if Inferni picks up this KO, then Greninja is very free. Um, I am really concerned about... Oh, just goes for the bake out. That's totally fine. It's a crit. Crit flinch. Oh no, hacks. Uh, the play has to, has to, has to be to just go for the mock punch here. He has no reason to switch out at all. Unless he wants to go out into the Hepowdon just to cycle fake outs now, if, if that's his play. But if he does that, then I play fire punch, I think, just to prevent him from being able to cycle fake outs. If he's playing this just to assume that I'm going to Grass Knot again, but I don't know. I don't know what he does. He would have to make a big, big play right now in order to um, come back, I think. Let's see. What are his options? If he does decide to go back into the Hip Howdon, he eats the Mock Punch. And then he has to assume that I Grass Knot into this, go back into this Low Pony... And then, after I revealed Mach Punch, then he can d to make doubles, he can play around my Mach Punch a little bit. I might have to be in a position just to, just to just withdraw. Goes into the Magirna. But Mach Punch, Mach Punch plus Fire Punch. Huh, let's see. Magirna. I feel like that damage is a no bulk Magirna, is that right? Mock Punch against a no bulk Magirna is 21 to 25%. That is about right. Which means Fire Punch is an almost certain KO. I, I just click Fire Punch. I just click Fire Punch. Maybe he expected me to close combat, but even then, close combat. Maybe he thought I was Scarfed? Just does double. Goes into the Hip Howdon. But after the Fire Punch, after the Poison Damage, hopefully I'm in a position where I'd be able to... Mm, not even close. He can freely slack off if he wants to. He can very freely slack off if he wants to. But I have to click Grass Knot. If he calls the Grass Knot, goes back into the Low Punny. Maybe it's just Fire Punch. There's no way he stays in after I reveal gra Grass Knot. Especially not at this range. Worst thing he can do is Slack Off, in all honesty. Yeah, I think the worst thing he can do is Slack Off. I'm gonna click Fire Punch. I feel like he makes another switch. I think he's trying to wear down my Infernape. Because realistically, all he has to do is go back into the Low Punny. Uh, take the Grass Knot. Let me take a round of Sandstorm. Then fake me out, and then my Infernape is neutralized. And unless I make a switch, but then he's free to return. Yeah. I think I think he's in a position where he really has to make a triple switch just to stay in the game. So I'm fairly confident going for a fire punch. And I think he I think part of him expected me to be flare blitz. So he expected me to kind of wear myself out, but no, I am um Iron Fist, Fire Punch. Thunder Punch, Mock Punch, and Grass Knot. That's my entire set with Expert Belt. I'm, a, I'm an Expert Belt um, Infernape. Which I feel like potentially wins me this game. He does stay in, so that's unfortunate. He will take me out. I get a crit on that. He does slack off. But... Now I definitely Grass Knot. What's this thing called? Hip on. We just have to play these 50-50s, man. And if he stays in, he's going to get worn down by the poison. I'm going to click Grass Knot. Yeah, we do get the Grass Knot off. That picks up the KO. That's exactly why I had to go in, in, into the Inferno. Because uh, he, he can play around whatever I bring out. So... That forced him in a position where, um, he had to, um, 
play around my Infernape, which allows my Greninja to sit in the back for a while. It does go into this low punny. And after I revealed Mach Punch, he has to fake me out. He has to fake me out. Which means I can go into Celebi and I can Earth Power into this thing. If he stays in, I should be able to take a hit, get an Earth Power off. If he switches out into the Magearna, then I get a very big hit off on the Magearna. And regardless if it is weakness policy at that point, uh, I have enough prior damage on it where as long as it's it, it, it didn't shift gear or anything. Um, as long as it didn't shift gear or anything, uh, another Earth Power should be able to do it. I believe two Earth Powers should be able to do it. I almost U-turned on this thing, but uh, this should be it. I hope, I pray that it doesn't have weakness policy, but if it does, I think we can deal with it. Special Defense Drop. I guess that seals it, but we don't see a weakness policy. I don't even think the thing gets priority. If it does, I don't know about it, and I could be pretty screwed, but I just have to Earth Power again. Does go for another withdrawal as he brings out this thing. And I think I am well in range of a return from this thing. Wait, I might not be. I can, I can pretty... Well, no. I am in range of Fake Out plus Return. So, he fakes me out every time. I'm gonna click recover, but he just... Fake out in a return should be enough. It might not be. Huh. After recovery, it might not be. I'm gonna click recover. I think he has to play for the roll now. He does go for return. If we take it, then... We do take it, we can recover up, and I honestly think that might be the game. Okay, so fun fact, um, I actually built um, with Kyle A for the uh, for a WBE match against Galactic Elliot, and he had a Selby, and Elliot had a Mega Low Honey, and this was the set that, that I suggested that he bring. Uh, it didn't work out for him in his match, but uh, I knew from that experience that this would be the best Celebi set to bring against him. But now I can pretty darn freely... Should I click Giga Drain? I don't think he switches out. I'm gonna click Giga Drain. Even if he does switch out, I don't think it matters. And yeah, I can get some health back here. And, um... Oh, I don't even take this thing out. Yikes. Okay, that's a, that's a big ol' yikes. But that Giga Drain keeps me out of range of a return. Um, I feel like I would want to click U-turn here. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to click U-turn here. Because we can take this return... We can take this return. And... Yeah, my Greninja can Water Shuriken here. If this is a quick attack, Mega Low Punny, then I would be in absolute shock, but uh, it probably would have gone for it by now. But yeah, Greninja should be able to close out this match. Um, because judging off of the damage off on Magearna earlier, a Surf into Magearna should be able to just win the ga game from here. Uh, one who hit from Shuriken should do that, and then a Surf should KO the Magearna. If it, even if it doesn't, um, we have ways of dealing with it. We have ways of dealing with it. I believe it's in range where no matter what, Life Orb Surf just does the dang thing. And 
we should get this next win. And Greninja, I believe, with five KOs in this match. Is that right? I believe that's right. Yeah, it had three KOs and then picks up these last two. The final KO, What did the who, to whom did the final KO go to? Infernape, right? Yeah, Infernape took out the Hippowdon. But hopefully after all of these DCs, this should be the final turn of the match. Um, He could be thinking about going for the shift gear here. But from what I can tell er from earlier, I think Surf should do it. Uh, regardless, I don't... I don't think Magearna Reverse sweeps me even with a shift gear up. I don't think it does. Um, <laughs> I don't quite know what he is um, trying to calc out, but I believe this should be it. Let's see. The match was forfeited. Okay. Uh, that was interesting. There we go. Regardless, we take that win. Uh, that was a very, very fun match to play. Regardless of the DCs, it was super, super unfortunate. But uh, thank you so much, Sharpedo. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back again really, really soon with more ICBA matches. Hopefully, they'll be on time from here on out. We'll have more UBL matches and other stuff, of course. With that, thank you guys so much for watching. And everyone, once again, out.